Hello there, my name is Nate, and today I'm going to show you how to debug Node.js apps remotely. In this video, we're going to be using Chrome's Remote Dev Tools. With Chrome's Remote Dev Tools, you'll not only get the robust features present on the client side dev tools used on web pages, but you'll also have the ability to debug server side code running both locally or remotely. As long as your remote device is accessible via network from your computer and can run Node.js in some sort of an operating system, you can debug your JavaScript code using these tools. In this video, I'm going to be using Node version 10.16.3 and Chrome version 87. First thing you're going to want to do is turn on the terminal or shell of your preference and navigate to the directory that your project lives in. Once you do that, you're going to want to execute this command. node space dash dash inspect equals, and within quotes, you're going to want to put the home address of your computer, followed by the port you want to the debugger to listen on. And in this case, I'm just going to use the default port 9229 and then the name of your JavaScript file that is the main focal point of your app. Press enter and as you can see by the second line of this trace our debugger is listening on our specified address and port. Now we're ready to begin debugging. We're going to want to turn on Google Chrome and go to the following URL chrome colon double forward slash inspect. Once you do that, you'll be met with a page that looks similar to this, and you're going to want to click the configure button. And here we'll have a little GUI dialog that'll ask us to add the address and port of the Node.js instance we want to target. In this case, we'll put the address and port of what we initialized our app with earlier, 127.0.0.1 at port 9229. Hit enter, and then click done. And then here we'll see our Node.js instance get listed here. So we're gonna wanna click inspect, and we'll be met with our debug tools. And so now here, you'll see the similar console.log message that got logged when we started our app. And they'll mirror one another as far as logs are concerned. So let's go back to Chrome. And I'm going to get this little app started on localhost 3000 it's just a countdown timer that sends websocket messages of the current time to the server so we'll hit start and where did our debugger go there it is so right here you'll begin to see the console.log messages of the different times. And on our message, WebSocket listener, we can set breakpoints and look at the messages being sent. In addition to that, we can also make live updates or live code updates without having to constantly restart our Node.js app. So I'll just put a console.log statement of foo here. And as you can see, our changes take effect. And lastly, another important feature is profiling, which can be used to take a look at memory allocation and see if there are any memory leaks. 
I don't think there are any memory leaks in this app, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, this is how you would go about using the dev tools. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure to hit the like button below. And also remember that your feedback is greatly appreciated. So tell me what you thought about this video in the comment section. To be alerted for future tutorials and videos, click the subscribe button and the bell icon. Until next time.